State your name. My name is Sarah Smith. And where are you from? I'm from Collinsville, Illinois. How old are you? 24. How was it growing up in your household? I had a really good life. My parents treated me both good. My parents got divorced though, and then I started just going crazy once my parents got a divorce. Do you have any siblings? I have four siblings. Are you the youngest? I'm the baby. So you're spoiled, entitled, all of that good stuff. All that good so stuff. So when things don't go your way, you're going to have a big tantrum. Yep. That's a motherfucking fact. How was school life? Uh, I got bullied a lot. And then Why I did became you get bullied? popular. Um, I got bullied because I was the hoe, as they called it. I was kissing all the boys. I was friendly with all the boys. I didn't really have many girlfriends. I just got along with the boys because they were petty like girls. I wouldn't call that a hoe. I call that you were boy crazy or curious or that's what young people do. Like, yeah, I would say the same. But they bullied you. But they bullied me at a point in time. But then I became popular at a point in time, but I always helped the ones that weren't popular, if that makes sense. How did you help them? Um, I stopped the bullying. I would stop the bullies from bullying people. How did you stop them? I would step the fuck up. That's <laughs> what I do, is I step the fuck up. Did That's you why a lot of people don't like me on these streets, because I step the fuck up. Did you graduate? I did not graduate. I dropped out at 17 and got my GED within a month, and then got married within two months. And what did you do after that? I moved to Hawaii, and I lived in Hawaii for two years. And then I moved to the Netherlands for a year. And I finally got fed up with my ex-husband's bullshit. He mentally abused me on a daily basis, telling me that I was ugly. Um, that I was not pretty without makeup. That's why the song, my favorite song is my favorite. Because mm -hmm. it says, you look good without no makeup. How long, how old were you when you got married? I was 17. How long were you married? Three years. Describe your marriage, like was it good in the beginning and it progressively got bad or was it it was bad the whole entire time he cheated on me before we got married and then i retaliated and cheated on him so we both had anger problems with each other from the get-go any addictions drinking smoking no not at first when i went to the netherlands i became an alcoholic for sure i what, drank every day what part of the netherlands were you in um we were at vocal air base pretty known it's a small base, so everybody knew me. How did you like the Netherlands? Describe the Netherlands for people who haven't been to I the Netherlands. I love the Netherlands. The Netherlands is so different. Um, Americans, to me, are rude. The Netherlands, they're very nice. They're nice to everybody that they see. How did you, did you, what brought you back to the States from the Netherlands? I decided to finally leave them. I def decided to finally get a divorce. Was it an easy divorce? Um, no. No, I don't think getting a divorce is ever an easy divorce. I didn't get all my shit till like a year later. It wasn't even all my stuff. Um, There's just some of it. He took he took what he wanted out of my things, so I didn't really get all my things. What do you miss about being married, if anything? I miss marriage. That's what I've been walking around these streets trying to find is somebody to put a ring on the finger. I just love being close to somebody every day. Even though he treated me bad, I still had somebody to sleep next to in the night, nighttime. I still had somebody to wake up next to. So you were a homemaker or were you working as well? I was working in Hawaii and I was working in the Netherlands, but in the Netherlands I only worked one day a week. I was wife is what I was. Spice. I cooked, cleaned. I did everything a wife should do. And I loved living that life. I hated my marriage, but I loved living that life. So how do we go from there to here? What was the transition? I came home and I became a real whore. I finally decided to just have fun and do what I wanted to do. And then I got pregnant. So you have children? I have a baby. How old is your child? She is nine months old. Who has her right now? The state of Illinois placed her in my mother's care, and then I signed my rights over to her mom. I'm sorry. Do you ever want to go back and get her? 
yeah, I just need the money, the house, the car, the ID to get the job. I just need everything that I don't have. But she's in good hands with your mom. Of course she's in good hands with my mom. That's why every day I have suicidal thoughts. You have suicidal thoughts every day? Yeah. What keeps you from going through with it? Finding the new people with the new drug to keep me alive. So you have? I have a drug addiction. What are you addicted to? I'm addicted to methamphetamines. I'm addicted to crack. I'm addicted to cocaine. I'm addicted to alcohol. I'm addicted to dick. I'm addicted to everything. I'm addicted to food. I'm addicted to personality. I have an addictive personality. How do you cope with being out here? How long have you been out here? Um, I've been walking the streets for nine months. I've had a lot of chances to move in with people. But? But, I don't know. I just don't, I run away. Anything that I see good, I run away from. I run away from good, I run away from bad, I run away from everything. Self-sabotage. Do you feel like deep down subconsciously you don't deserve anything good? Yeah. Why do you feel like that? Because I'm a good person and I give everything to people. I don't get anything in return, but I don't know. I just feel like I've done way too much wrong in my life than good. So for the nine months, what has been the plan? Or has there been any plan for the nine for months? For the nine months, I've been planning to get a home and then to get a car and then to get a man. But the thing that I didn't realize is I've just been looking for the man. Rather than getting the job and getting the house and the car myself, yes. I've just been on the hunt for a husband because I want somebody that. You know no things. People think free things in life or looking for people to take care of us or rescue us is asking somebody to take advantage of you. Yeah, I've been taken advantage of many times. When was the first time you got taken advantage of? How old were you? I don't really know necessarily. I don't know. I actually don't have too much memory of my life. I just know I lived a good life. I had the best life out of all my siblings. I had the best life. Mm -hmm. And then I came up and lost my mind when I got married. I just gave up on myself when I got the divorce. What would you tell the younger you, knowing what you know now, what would you tell the younger you if you can go back in time and change things? What Not would you to change? get married at 17. What else? To stay away from drugs. That marijuana is indeed a gateway drug. Who introduced you to drugs? How were you introduced? I was introduced at the age of 13 by Terry, my sister's boyfriend who died of a heroin overdose. Wow. How old was Terry? Um, he, shit, 30 something. And you were how old? And I was 13. He introduced me to marijuana. And from marijuana it went to for marijuana, I stayed with marijuana for years and years. That's why I didn't believe it was a gateway drug. But then I just got to a point where I I wanted to feel numb, and marijuana doesn't make me feel numb by any means. Marijuana makes me happy, but it doesn't make me feel numb. I still feel the pain. And once my daughter was taken away, the drugs found me. Once the drugs found me, I haven't been able to leave them. Now I find the drug. Now they take over me. With all the bad stuff that's floating around, you had you're not afraid of using like am I No, because I wanna die. How long have you felt like that? My whole life. What could change that way of thinking? What what could happen or what should happen or what would you like to happen in your life? to change the way you're feeling about yourself. To get a husband, a car, a home, my daughter. So everything balances about with a husband. Even if he doesn't treat you the best, you still want a husband. I still want a husband. I want to wake up to somebody who doesn't speak. Because you were raised with a mother and a dad. 
I was raised with love. I was raised with compassion. Mm -hmm. I was always held a stone. That's when I went to be held. Yes. Every day. We kissed on every day. How is it not having that? And I would have fathered for my baby. And not having a companion is the hardest thing. I need a person. You need a person. I need a person. I'm very independent when it comes to cooking, cleaning, and things like that. You're but I am codependent on needing somebody to be there. Just be there. Your friend that I met you with, how long have you guys known each other? Or how did, And how did you meet? B, we met at what I call a crack house. Around here? Yep. Um, she was brought there by a guy and he left her there. And I've had her ever since. So you've been protecting her? Or you guys protect each yeah, other? Yeah, we've been, I've been protecting her. I you, you definitely need to look out for each other. I always carry a knife. You need it. And I'm always ready to whip it out. You need it. That's why a lot of people here want to kill me because I pull out my knife and I say, look around and find out is what my mama used to say. And I'm ready to slit your throat. Just like that. Just like that. And I'll take the years in jail. I'll take the years in prison. I'll go to life for protecting myself. What got you to that point? What what caused you to start carrying a knife? Because I know you didn't start off carrying a knife. What caused it? Like what? East St. Louis. East St. Louis. All the guns. All the guns. I've been trying to come up on a gun so I could shoot somebody. But the thing is, is I shouldn't have a gun because I'd be the first motherfucking bitch to actually pull the trigger. Tired of being robbed, raped, damn near killed. Around here in East St. Louis? Oh yeah, a truck driver took me from here and put his knee on my throat and tried to kill me. Told me that he could drop me off in Ohio and nobody will know. Instead he robbed me of all my things once we got to Illinois. How do you, how do you get over the fear of going with strangers? I don't have fear. I've lost the fear. And that's what I was telling B, is you have to, you have to have fear in life. You can't have fear out here. Like, they'll smell it a mile away. But you have to have fear in life. Mm -hmm. You yes. do. Because if you're not scared of anything, then you're bound to die. Yes. I'm not scared of anything. I'm bound to die. That's why I was just ripped out of a car and had a gun in my head, and they took. How long ago was this? Yesterday. What happened? They took my phone. What was the situation? Like, how did you get in the car? I got in the car because he was my friend and he, my friend, and mm -hmm. he was saying that he would protect me and he'd kill somebody for me and he was there for me. And then it was his phone. Long story short, it was his phone that was taken from him by somebody else. Mm -hmm. And I came up on it and when he called, I said, I will return it to you because at that time I had another phone. Then the next day I got robbed of that other phone. So I told him I'm going to need to keep the phone. And he said, yeah, of course. But I still want to meet up with you to see you because you're my friend. Mm -hmm. So I met up with him. Not thinking he was going to pull out a gun on me. Not thinking he was going to eat me out of the car and throw me on the ground. Rip up my clothes. My only jacket that I have right now. And this isn't even a jacket. I have homes to go to. I just don't have my numbers because it's in that phone. And I don't know how to get to some of those homes and I'd already be there. So what's today, what's the plan today? Like what's what's on the itinerary for for you today? I have no plans. I've given up. You've given up. I've given up many times. This time is so fun. I'm a singer, I'm a dancer, country artist, rapper. I got a lot of shit to say. Mm -hmm. They call me crazy Sarah for a reason. They call me sassy Sarah for a reason. Mm -hmm. I've gained my names for a purpose. Right. But I'm tired of being miserable. I'm tired of being Sarah. Mm -hmm. I just want to have a home. 
husband and a car and my baby. And the moment my baby got taken away, I just gave up. Rather than fighting for her, I just gave up. You have to fight. I don't know how to. Yeah, you do. You're surviving out here fighting. But you have to put that somewhere barely, where it counts for your baby. Surviving. Fighting for your baby. Fighting for to get back into civilization and be a regular person. All of it is a fight. It's a never-ending fight. Even when you get that stuff, you still have to fight to keep it. So it never stops. But once you give up on yourself, you've, you're not even giving yourself a chance. You have to give yourself a chance. Yeah. You have to be strong. Even though it's not meant to be that way, but it's like, what other way can it be? Because of the things that are thrown at you on a daily basis, they would drive you insane. So you have to be mentally fit mentally sturdy and you have to understand that nothing happens or nothing happens by chance everything happens for a reason yeah and you have to get that reason so if that's it for now um this is sarah and if you have anything else to add if anybody's looking for you if people want to find you if people whatever hey people if, want to find me and kill me i mean i'm in east st louis meet me at mcdonald's no said no said thank you miss sarah thank you